Welcome to another installment of the Champions of Chime Amp Roundup. We've gathered nine EL84 driven gems to duke it out at the hands of session aces Justin Derrico, Taylor Locke, and Steve Travato. Up now is the Buddha Verb Master. First appearing in the 90s, this incarnation stays faithful to the design that first made it popular among early boutique aficionados. This 12 watt combo features a duo of EL84s, three 12 AX7s, and one 12 AT7 preamp tubes, and a 5 UF rectifier tube. The amp features high and low inputs with bass, treble, volume, and reverb controls. The reverb is switchable between sand and surf. The amp also features an effects loop, two speaker outputs with impedance selector, slave output with level control, and foot switch input. The amp we tested is a 112 combo with a Buddha 12 speaker and retails for $17.99. Let's hear it. My name is Justin Derrico. Uh, I play guitar for Pink, and I'm also in the house band for uh, The Voice. This is my darling, my baby. This is uh, just a Les Paul standard. It's a 2006, uh, not chambered. Uh, the pickups in it are, I believe they're burst buckers. Uh, they're just standard what came in it. Uh, the only different thing that I did to this guitar was I put a Fishman Piezo power bridge on it for, uh, for the acoustic stuff. And that's pretty much it. Broken headstock. Um, it sounds bitchin'. I, I liked like the milkiness like uh, 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 for like lead stuff uh, on the high gain channel. I thought it was cool. I thought when I went to the rhythm though, it got a little like f floppy, I guess, on the low end. Um, you know, which is cool for some things. I mean, it got a little fuzzy, so you can get some kind of, I guess, semi Hendrixy sort of sounds. I guess you know, if you wanted to, it would be nice if you could switch between the two uh, because uh, like when you want some of the more gain for some of the shredding or whatever you know on that on that other on the lower gain channel it's um, not quite as much as you want but um, but overall I think it's pretty nice. Hey this is Taylor Locke from the bands The Ruffs and Rooney. Th this is um, uh, an early 2000s Gibson Custom Shop SG. It's a, a 61 reissue, which is when they were actually still called Les Pauls. And I got it on eBay, and the previous owner had changed the bridge pickup out for a um, Peter Florence Voodoo 59. And it sounds great, so I kept it in there, and I think everything else is, is stock. This uh, Stratocaster is a 54 reissue. Uh, I got it on eBay. It's a Japanese one made in the late 80s, and it's all stock maple fingerboard, regular single coil pickups. So it's a good, uh, it'll be a good demonstration of, of Strat tones. <laughs>
The good thing about it was the high gain channel. It was a good crunchy high gain amp. So if you're playing humbucker guitars and you're doing power chords or leads, it, it, it performed well in that regard. I went to the normal channel and it was a bit dull and even with the treble way up and the bass way down, it still seemed a little bit dark and woofy and didn't really have the chimey bell-like tone, which is what EL84 players are usually uh, looking for. The foot switch controls the reverb and then has uh, changes between sand and surf, but there's no light or way of knowing which mode that is, and both modes kind of sound the same anyway. Hi, I'm Steve Trovato and welcome. I brought two different guitars today, a T-model and an S model, both by LSL. First thing I like about this amplifier is that the top is recessed a little bit so that when I'm on stage and I'm leaning over the amplifier I can look straight down and see where the settings on the knobs are. Other thing I like about it is it has that Vox British, for lack of a better word, top end but the low end, the low strings are still pretty tight. It's a smaller sound than a 412 cabinet but it still maintains the tight bottom end so you can play full chords with it using open strings low strings and it still sounds nice and tight make sure to watch the rest of our champions of chime demos and head to premierguitar.com to read our written feature with additional commentary from justin taylor and steve